Today, guys, we are doing a mukbang session with my lovely husband. What's a mukbang? A mukbang is where you just eat in front of the camera. It's a thing. Mm, it's a thing. Okay. And today, our sudan is... Dun, 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 dun. Mukbang weird. Mukbang weird. Mukhang weird. <laughs> it is durian. I've never had durian in my whole life. Which is apparently weird. But seriously, like I've never tasted it. But how's the smell to you? It smells like a fruit. It doesn't bother me at all. Okay, let's open the durian. How about you? I like durian. Does it still doesn't bother you? Really, Rabia? I'm wearing a fruit. Okay. I mean, fruit has a strong smell, but I wouldn't like. Okay, again. Okay. What do people say about durian day? Why don't they like it? The baho. Baho? The smell bothers them. Okay, Raman. So, actually, Slater's mom sent this over. We've had it for like two days. And then Slater said, you know what, let's do the video already because the whole ref is starting to smell like durian, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so eto na po, this is our little mukbang session. I got it first. So makao ni mo, like you can eat the whole fruit, like every part of it. There's no seed or anything. There's a seed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, there's different breeds. So different breeds, different tastes, different styles. There's creamy ones. There's more meaty. It's durian right there. Woohoo! I'm very underwhelmed. It's not a very tough piece durian. It's okay. It tastes like a fruit. Yeah. What's the big deal? You know, I mean, like, it's funny because some people are so kind of anti durian good. Like, in Singapore, but they have science that no durian allowed or whatever. Because it's so smelly. Hindi ba ya? I mean, mas hindi li lang the five comments. In this tau. Next mukbang challenge, Chris eats steak. Oh. I'm waiting for something to happen. Like, I'm waiting na mag maludan ko or suddenly I'm dead. Kaling kaludan din na siguro kaludan. Hindi ba ya? I mean, because people make such a big deal of it, I don't know if you know how to eat it, but it's good. That's this way, just speak in front of the camera. Yeah, but also, I asked you guys to send us a few questions. We're going to be answering a few questions today. I just saved a few questions, but in the end, we're going to do a little game, okay. which one of our followers also suggested. And I think it's going to be really fun. First one, what is or are the hardest part of being newly parents, newly parents, new parents. Si Chris na pa answer No, you also. As a mom, you know it's really hard because of all the physical changes, and if you're breastfeeding, like, and dami mo kailangan talaga isipin at gawin. So may hirap talaga siya, time wise and walang tulog wise. But I think the the part of it that I'm struggling with now is, according to Slater, I'm overthinking everything. But I think it's. Emotionally stressful, the mom guilt, the should I do this? What if I do this? Then what's gonna happen to Scotty? Like it's always having to decide and not knowing anything and everybody giving you advice and everybody's advice like contradicting each other. Like it's just not knowing what to do and not knowing where to run for advice. And driving it's driving me crazy. That's the hardest part. And I tell her that it doesn't have to be perfect because life itself is imperfect. So, you don't have to strive for perfect. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, weird, that's yeah. Ugh. Why? What, bro? The bata basa part. It's the best part. Huh? How about you? What's the hard, hardest part of me, okay? I think more it's just adjusting because it's a um, different kind of life. Right. You have to make time. Um, yeah, it's more of that, but everything else, I'm fine. I'm seriously fine. Slater's always Mr. Chill. And I think because for me, the responsibility is really with a mom. Like when it comes yes. to food, when it comes to like all these little decisions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I hate up shots. <laughs> but you know, don't get me wrong, it's not hard, bad, I'm never gonna do it again. It's hard, fun, and I, I love what I'm doing. So, yeah, yeah, do it again. Yeah, 
I'd love to have another kid. Not now, but that brings me to the next question, which is, what advice can you give to those families who are planning to have a baby during this time in the world? Ako! <laughs> I mean, go for it. Like, this time, I feel is... Well, probably too late, but... It's, it's good. Because we're staying at home, I think that's what she means. We get to see every little moment of Scotty's school. That's true. But for me, naman, I would if, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would have probably not had Scotty at this time because scary like to go to the hospital, to visit the doctor, to get his injections in. Like I can't just at any time go to my pediatrician because I'm scared to go to leave the house. So in that sense, mm, scary shy. And also like I can't spend time with my family. Um, a lot of things. So there are pros and there are cons. You decide them. Yeah, I think that's a very legitimate con. Describe Scotty in one word. <laughs> I would say cute. Oh, he really is so cute. I, sometimes later on I like look at him and say, our baby's so cute. And then we don't know if like he's really cute or it's just because we're the parents. <laughs> Everything is cute. He's so he's so smart. He's so guapo, but because you're the parent, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hindi kami bias, but our baby's the best. Mm -hmm. kanya ng lahat. Okay, Skypod question. Bakit walang second floor yung Skypod? Okay, kano mo smoda? Kasi I told you why. Ikaw na lang magsagot. Answer mo eh. <laughs> It's just more of a future proofing thing and just a convenience thing that I don't want stairs in. Our house. I mean, it's chamber second floor is a better option if you want to maximize the space. But because sobrang convenient if everything is on the same level, like when you forget something in your room, hindi ka magdadalaw ng isip na to go to your room again, diba? Or just the flow of the house is so much better with uh, just one floor. And when we're older, when we can climb steps na, which is like. 50 years. Ito kaya yung Skypod. <laughs> Sana naman! <laughs> but yeah, it's just more future proof. Mm. When it comes to children, hindi ka rin takot na to fall down the steps or whatever. Yeah, it's it's, a, more it's a bungalow. Bungalow pala ang tawag ng house na single floor na bungalow design. So, ikaw, what do you feel is that? Kind of I mean, I never really thought about houses, layouts, designs before I met Slater, before we built the Skypod. And obviously, he knows so much more about it than, I, than me. So I just gave him like free, like, you bahala, you know better. And it's true, to mind because sometimes, for example, in the middle of the night, like, I want to get water because I'm so thirsty. And then Slater will say, See, if you had a second floor, you won't go down and get the water now because it's so far. But it's true, to mind Like, it's so easy for me to just run to the room, run to the kitchen, run here and there. like. Because it's so near, and a lot of people were saying, "Murag, sayang yung house because it could have been so much bigger if we had a second floor. Like your total square meter space would be bigger, right?" But also, like we don't need a big space, and it's harder to maintain, it's harder to clean, it's also more expensive to build. Like, you know, so much. It's well, not more expensive just because it's bigger. Bigger, it's more expensive. That's it. Yeah, Chaka also, just because it's bigger doesn't mean it's better, right? Like, Slater always tells me, let's say we had a movie theater room, a game room, a music room, an art room. Pwede naman, but if your house is so big and if it's in the second floor, it's in the basement, ganyan, chances are you won't really be there every single day or you won't really use it every single day because it's so far and you'd rather spend time in the living room na makasama kayo. Let's say you're alone lang, samba, ganyan. So, that's his take on it. Mm -hmm. That's why you follow my channel so you learn about these things. <laughs> How do you keep the Skypod so clean and neat while with Scotty? So, I, a lot of you guys actually ask this question because in my vlogs, it seems like it's just Slater and I, but we have one kasambahay and one nurse that helps us with Scotty. She's not really a nurse. I don't know why I keep saying night midwife. nurse. Just a midwife. I have this like weird schedule thing that I do. 
so that like Monday she'll clean this room, Tuesday she'll clean this room, Thursday again, again. Para it's not so heavy on her. Also, if you guys want me to talk about that more, then please do leave a comment down below about how I maintain this household and like all these little tips and tricks on maintaining the sky pod. And it's not as clean as as we would want. To yeah, be honest. yeah. I mean the 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 glass that are up high. We clean them. We'll probably clean them maybe once or twice a year. We haven't cleaned it doesn't them get yet. super dirty. <laughs> it's just a little bit foggy, but it's okay. But the the main area that we live in is fairly clean. I think it's also because of the design of the house. Yeah, it's we just don't have rugs. Whole floor, no rugs, so it's easy to clean, easy allergic. to mop. Allergic. Yeah, we, the curtains we don't have to like launder the curtains because they're blinds. Because again, they're just allergic. So we really thought of these things before building the house and also we bought an iRobot <laughs> to help us vacuum the floor we are applying to buy more to help us because we only have one person buying huh? and we're busy with Scotty so I can't help her clean now nah, before I used to be able to help but now nah, nah. so we are relying on technology now <laughs> we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes last na lang okay are you guys fighting what's the reason and how do you guys solve it love you all now this is this is a question that came out a lot like they keep asking us about how to maintain your relationship while you're in lockdown or how you guys like how we maintain our relationship while we're married, we have kids, how we fight, how we solve things. I feel like um, the number one most important thing is if you're some, with someone who's, who you're compatible with, you don't even fight a lot. It's fairly... <laughs> Sorry. I mean, uh. we rarely, rarely fight. Maybe say nothing twice or three times a year and it's usually just arguments and it doesn't last for days it's just a few hours and we're, we just talk it out mm -hmm. she usually cries I Mangiso. usually apologize because yeah, if you're always with someone every little thing about them especially if you don't like them as much or you have issues with them in the first place and you get irritated you get irritated and the toothbrush is like a toothbrush oh my gosh that's true <laughs> yeah that's like you know, it happens when general. you for example you travel with people like a friend like you don't like a friend of parang no. okay kayo if you just spend like normal coffee date coffee date lang but if you spend so much time with that person you're like so everything gets magnified. Mm -hmm. So it's important in the first place to be with someone that you're truly comfortable with, that yeah, you love. truly love. Mm -hmm. That's true. And also I feel it helps that Slater's older. Because no, because they say that guys are a lot more immature than girls or mas matagal mag mature, but because Slater's a lot older than me, <laughs> six years apart kami. So because Slater's a lot older Six than me, years guys, not 60. <laughs> Feeling ko, like he's very mature na. Like if I probably if I was with somebody that's my age, mas mature ako sa nila. But I like it that later I feel like he's more mature than me. Yeah, and then sometimes I feel also like you know how us girls were so emotional, dami natin inisip ng yan. Like feeling ko alam na niya eh. Like <laughs> alam na niya. Malas sa pamilya ko na pagsabihan. Well, ganon. Like he just allows me to discover and grow on my own. I feel ah, like sometimes, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel Secret. like, sometimes I feel like, for example, finish na, finish na tong episode, na, na emotional na po, then, I think, I'm going to be a bit of a I'm going to be a bit of yeah, but it's because um, <laughs> if you do it once, if you do it twice, like let it go. But if you keep on doing it, and I feel like it's detrimental to you, then I'll, I'll let you know. I don't know. Like he just has a way of like timing it. I'm sure he doesn't do it on purpose or whatever. But stop. But sometimes, yeah, it's true. I keep my mouth shut. The, you pick your battles. He doesn't sweat the small stuff. Like oh, oh, if it's just once, to I sing it by la. Pero kung nababaliw na ako. Then he'll tell me, like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah. Then me, naman, like, I'm just so nice, so I never get mad at him. <laughs> yeah, it's really him who bundles me. <laughs> anyway, okay, next question. Guys, 
I said seven questions, but six lang pala. I was wrong. Um, this last one, five lang, five questions lang pala, because this last one is a very good suggestion. Please do would you rather questions while doing mukbang. So instead of like me asking Slater and Slater asking me, I decided to ask you guys on Instagram, which we will check right now. Sana may nag respond. Yeah, dami na nag respond. Okay. Wait, smell my breath. Yan. Ah, because of durian there. But it sticks with you. Really? I don't mind. Let's see if Scotty minds later. <laughs> Would you rather kiss later or Scott in the morning? Scott? Scott doesn't have morning breath. <laughs> he has milk breath. <laughs> but it's very humot, I feel. Only have two front teeth or one tooth <laughs> one tooth on top or one on the bottom. And one at the bottom. Yeah. So two front teeth or... <laughs> you should ask Scotty that. <laughs> you can't ask him. One at the front and one at the bottom. No! Really? Like a chuka? At least my content. I'm going to eat two at the front. That's not good. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm serious. Would you have rather have no electricity or no water? It's easy. No electricity. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Chris. Would you rather have no sleep or no aircon? No aircon. <laughs> no aircon. Okay. But I'm going to go. That's one thing. Pala na sleep in nose. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to I don't know why. Because I get rashes. So, in it, Permi? Oh, no, I don't care. I don't care. But I really like, I get rashes on my neck. Guys, I'm sweating. It's like I'm allergic to sweat. My sweat. I've seen it. Pag, lahat, halos lahat ng mga video. Check nyo yung mga video ni Chris. Hindi, hindi ka akong naging dito, dito, dito. Ganun ako magpaduhol. Limon yung palay mo ka. Would you rather eat vegetables or eat meat for the rest of your life? Vegetables, meat. <laughs> okay, would you rather I die first or you die first? I die first. Yeah, this is something that Slater and I always. No, it's your it's your thing. Oh, uh, that I wanna die first. Mm. So you are okay if I die first? I don't know. I die first. I think I'm older. See, we always argue about it. Who, who dies first? I feel like I can't deal deal with it emotionally. So I say I, I always say like I'll die first, na lang. Would you rather have YouTube forever or Instagram forever? I am biased because this is on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. No, YouTube is more fun, I feel. Have twins or give birth twice within a year? Have twins na lang. Oh my god. Would you rather know when you are going to die or how you are going to die? Oh my god, napaka savage. Wait. Ikaw. Huh? When, would you rather know when you're gonna die or how you're gonna die? Uh, when? When, no? Para mas schedule mo na buhay mo. <laughs> That's actually a relief. Yeah, like, actually. Yeah, actually. Because if it's how, like for example, you die sa swimming pool, we'll never go swimming. Yeah. And if they say, oh, oh you, you'll die 80 years from now. Oh, 80 years pa, party! <laughs> <laughs> Live healthy, wala na. Yeah, eat durian every day. Mm. Okay, last, last two na lang. One from me, one from me. Okay. Would you rather be able to drink wine while breastfeeding? Yes. Or drink your own breast milk. But you have to drink your own breast milk. Or <laughs> Somebody say, yeah. Would you rather live in. Walay na lang? Okay, go sa. No, 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 no. Sige, would you rather be. Walay kilay? <laughs> walay kilay? Oh, walay kilay. Like, like, imagine ka ako walay kilay, no? <laughs> Walay kilay or walay to front teeth? Front? Uh, Pala lang yung kilay. Madruingan pa na ako. Ang pinitsug pa tao. Hindi ko. Hindi ko. Ah. 
Too friendly. No too friendly. Okay, para sira na lang mama. <laughs> Would you rather na nata? Tigil pa kayo. <laughs> Would you rather katong? Would you rather be able to drink all the wine in the world while dress feeding? But you have to do it outside where the mosquitoes are. <laughs> Wala silang context. Mosquitoes love me. Like if I spend five seconds outside, I'll get kagat everywhere. I don't know why. And then they just bounce off him. I don't know why. That's it? That's it? Yeah. That's it? Would you rather? No, I won't drink wine along. I'll be itchy forever. Would you rather be... Like when people go near you, like bumbo and cake and... Look. <laughs> or but breath ka. <laughs> when you open your mouth like date mada. Mana lang nun. But breath ka. Nya na mustoria ka. Would you rather have ki ki nga digin mo tang tang forever? <laughs> like na get you there. Like get you mutang tang sa sa Yeah. Or or akub mo that's just there. Like if mana nga git ay. Oh, kaya na kiki na na ko mag face mask na. Ah, kaya mo kaya when you run there, malibang kasi mong bak bak or magihi kasi mong ilo. Ew, magihi na ako sa ilo. Yeah. Would you rather have no kilay or wala yung book bangs lang? Sayo. May book bangs. Na siya ulit. Ano nga bangs ha? Dili ka nang pinaana ha? Ano ra yun? Would you rather have the superpower to be able to fly or to be invisible? Able to fly. Fly. I feel like if you would choose invisible, more like sneaky ka nga tao. Okay. Oh, garang ka mo invisible. Kung ka na, you're able to fly, but to the power of farts. Fly, pagod tiki ka fart. Mapuliot yung magian. Okay ah. Nabitos likod yun. Baong durian. Okay na. Hindi ka baong durian. Paakon ka o crocodile or paakon ka daghan ng homigas? No? <laughs> Allergic ba ka homigas? Ako ba ni crocodile? Do you rather have the kogi kay mong lips like swollen gid ka yung mga marag sakit ni mga isya? Laing kita na marag laing kita na marag or <laughs> or why are you always looking at my face? I'm trying to think of a bad part. Ah, kare kare. Ako sa. Or ang soalan kayo is imong libo. Hindi ka libo. Hindi ka libo. It's soalan kisha. Libo na lang. Sakit mo yung libo. Di ka ida un. Tigil na, mahal na. At least sexy ako libo. Anyway, guys, kaka sabi ko lang tignan mo kung saan niya saan na ako. Si si. Ganon kung magpadul mo pala yung ka. Ganon kung magpatulog. Ganon kung magpadul mo. Magpatulog. Wao mo yung kuneliyo. Ganon kung magpadul mo. Anyway. Anyway, guys, since we haven't been eating our durian. Si si si. Hindi na lang ko guys kaya ito ba ako? Okay, since we haven't been eating our durian, and we're not gonna go out on I think it's time to go. Thank you so much for joining us today in this video. I hope you had a good time. We sure did. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to his channel as well. I will put a link down below so you guys can follow us. I will also put links down below to our Instagram so you guys can follow us there. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get notified every single time we have a new video. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below and leave me a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Ciao!